You wanna go for a walk? So you heard of a barn find. You know, when people open up a barn and they find an old classic car that hasn't been touched in 20 or 30 years. Well, this is a story about a boat barn find. So this story begins about 14 months ago at the Australian Wooden Boat Festival. An American publication called Small Boats came over and they ended up reviewing one boat and it was a 14 foot yawl, a Selway Fisher that was built by a local chap and the workmanship was outstanding. It was an incredible little boat. Uh, gained a lot of attention at the Wooden Boat Festival. Fast forward about 14 months and I was asked to give a presentation for the Wooden Boat Guild of Tasmania on my circumnavigation of Bruny Island in the Scamp. After the presentation, one of the members came up to me and, and asked if I remembered that boat at the Australian Wooden Boat Festival. And indeed I did. And he mentioned to me that the guy that built that extraordinary little dinghy had also built a Wellsford boat. He told me that it was a Pathfinder with a cabin and was thinking about selling her. So I grabbed his number and the next day Joe and I went and had a look. Turns out this Pathfinder, turns out this Pathfinder had been sitting in storage for 12 years and I'd only been in the water for 25 minutes just to see if it would float. In fact, the mainsail had never been up. You wanna have a look? Follow me. Good girl. Give us about five to 10 seconds to rig her up, then we'll show you in detail. There she is, Pathfinder with a cabin. So how does she sail? We have no idea. Let's go and find out. Well, that was uneventful. Not a lot of water, but we managed to get her in anyway. Good trailer. And she doesn't draw much. Now what we need to do is check the build, make sure that she's not leaking, and we'll take her out for a sail. No weeping in there, no weeping on the port side. Alright, let's get her salty. <laughs> okay, so we've just come out from Troll Bay, south of Kettering, and there's a few boats out. It's perfect weather just for sorting out the rig, working out where everything goes, all the little bits and bobs that need to be done on her but she feels fantastic. The sails are setting nicely. And we're just going to head over to Barnes Bay. So Kettering, which is behind us, Troll Bay, which is down there where we've just launched. We're in the middle of the Dontracasto Channel and just in front of us is Bruny Island. You like her? Cool, there's a few boats out. Like your hat. Where'd you get that? Thanks, Josh. Hey, 
Have a look inside the cabin. There we go. There you go. Enough room in here. Two of us to go camping. Yeah. On this side, that's the compressor. That's the compressor for the fridge. And I'll show you where the fridge is. We've got a fridge in here. There you go. On this side, we've got our electrics and we keep our emergency gear in there as well. When did we last touch the tiller? <laughs> this feels like a much bigger boat than the Navigator. And uh, I don't know if it's just because of the cabin, but it just feels like a bigger boat. She just feels a lot stiffer. I think there's a lot more weight in the centerboard as well, which is probably making her a little bit stiffer. Not quite enough wind for her to stretch her legs just yet. Just come ashore to have some lunch. We're on Bruni Island now. Sea breeze has picked up now. It's just after lunch, which is what happens down here. What do you reckon? Cute little boat. It's nice having that cabin, you just throw everything down there, it's out of sight. It's good having a cabin on a boat this size. It's probably, probably the smallest boat that you'd want to have a cabin on, I think. There's more room in there than a two-man tent. That's all we need. Yeah, she's quite comfortable now. down below. <laughs> she just feels great. She's like a little ship. Really fun to sail. This is Trial Bay back in here. This is where we launched from. We've been out for about four or five hours now. Um, so this is the longest that this boat's ever been out. And we learn a lot. You always do, but um, particularly on the first outing, Things I need to change, ways to make the boat a little bit more comfortable, a little bit easier for us to sail. And considering that the main's never been up before, she's never really been sailed, or well, she hasn't been sailed, only on a, on a trailer in the front of our house. <laughs> I'm getting these wafts of hue and pine coming out of, the, out of the cabin, and every time you open one of the hatch covers, there's all this hue and pine smell, it's fantastic. There's an enormous amount of hewn in this boat, even the string is a hewn pine, a lot of teak. This um, blackwood here is called Venga, it's from South Africa. Very similar to ebony, very strong. All the spars are Oregon. Got bird's mouth on the, on the main two spars on the masts. And then the sprit booms are both solid. You've got a solid bow sprit, solid boomkin. The hatch cover up here is Kingbilly pine, Kingbilly pine down here. Uh, we've got a teak floor, teak seat in the cockpit. Uh, we've got bird's eye hue and pine hatch covers. It's a bit, bit extravagant, but we like it. It's great, we're just cruising along now at six knots. She's happy, I haven't touched the tiller. Quite a little bit wet. That's why Joe's gone down there to keep out of the, out of the waves. It's not true. She can't get out. She's stuck. She looks pretty cosy though.
Okay, so we've packed it up. And I thought I'd show you these. It's little aluminium struts that the builder's done. Uh, they hold the spars on. There's one above the cabin as well. They're really handy. There's just a couple of screws there that you undo. You can take this whole thing off. Fantastic little boat. It's probably not as fast as the Navigator, I would say. I think the Navigator's a little bit faster. This one's more of a gentleman's cruiser. Like a day sailor for gentlemen. We're just going to have to find a gentleman. <laughs> Thanks for watching episode 12 of Smallcraft Tasmania. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Stay salty. I was going to bring a megaphone. Stay salty. <laughs> we found a scratch. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing to see here. <laughs>